Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Now about nine months ago, I released a video where I talked all about my disappointment in the Sony PlayStation Classic. This was right before it was about to come out and I canceled my pre-order because it was just lackluster, everything that I was hearing about it. And it was really interesting when it did finally come out, watching some of the reviews that basically confirmed what I and a lot of other people had suspected, and that is Sony kind of phoned it in a little bit with this one, but yet was charging a premium. And so at the time, I really felt like I couldn't support this at that full price. I was, I felt like I was voting with my wallet. I felt like I needed to send Sony a message that we were not going to just stand by and tolerate this kind of mediocre release. I mean, a lot of us, myself included, are really big PlayStation 1 fans, and we expected more. Fast forward to today, nine months later, and I am feeling a little dirty. I'm feeling a little bit like a hypocrite because I finally did pick up the PlayStation Classic. I picked it up just the other day, like I think many of you did as well. And it's been really wild watching the release of this because I believe when it came out, it was $100, but Right away, demand was not there, and you saw discounts all over the place. And over the last year, well, it's been steadily discounted month after month to where basically just a couple weeks ago, during Amazon Prime Day, uh, they offered this for $20. But not just Amazon, actually. Best Buy was offering for $20, Target, and other retailers. And so... I suspect you were like me that that was kind of the perfect price point to finally pick it up. So what's changed? Well, it's not just about price for me. I mean, I could have justified it at its full retail price, but again, I felt like I was voting with my wallet here. I want to send a message to Sony that I love the, the PlayStation 1 and I wanted a quality product. But at $20, it's like, okay, that's where I can finally kind of jump in and justify it because I think the hardware alone is definitely worth $20. I mean, it comes with two really cool classic controllers. And yes, the games are lackluster, but over the last year, it's been very easy to mod it. And I know a lot of you know this, that you're not, at, at this point, you're not actually stuck with the 20 games that were included on this, which as a lot of people have acknowledged, aren't that great. And so it, you can very easily actually put your own games on it by just going to a website called modmyclassic.com which is exactly what I did. So basically the first day that I got this, I went to that website and I modded it and basically configured it exactly the way that it, that it should have been, you know, coming from Sony. And there's another message that I want to send to Sony and that's why I picked this up at this time. And that is, and I think you will all agree with me that we really do like these mini consoles. Uh, I have the NES one, the Super NES, I have the Commodore 64 one, which I actually really like. Plus there's some older ones that came out a while ago, like the ColecoVision, the Atari. And I don't want the suits at Sony to, to see this failure as indication that we don't want a proper PlayStation Classic. Specifically, if they, if they, if they leave this behind, let's say that, that the suits at Sony go, listen, that was a failure. I don't want them to go that's the end of it because I think you and I will agree that it would be amazing to get a PlayStation 2 Classic Mini at some point. That's what I want. I want Sony to go, okay, we learned from this mistake, but a year or two down the road, we'll do a proper kick-ass PlayStation 2 Classic. I think that would be amazing. I think that it would be so cool for them to do that. After all, the PlayStation 2 is, I believe, the most successful console of all time. Think about all of the first party titles that they could put on that machine. I think it would be amazing. And so, yes, I picked this up, you know, at the end of it when they're basically, you know, discounting them and, you know, shooting them out for practically next to nothing. But I want Sony to get the message that we do love these things. We want more of them. We just want them to be, you know, well made and great. And I have to say, I'm encouraged by companies like Sega, which seem to have learned from their past mistakes. They, in the past, they've used third-party companies to make fairly lackluster versions of their Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. And just recently, as many of you know, they decided to pull that in-house and admit 
that in order to do a proper mini console that they have to do it in-house and do it right. And so that's actually got me really excited. I actually pre-ordered the uh, the Genesis with the, the entire stack, you know, the, 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 the plastic stack that, that's on it. Even though it doesn't do anything, I still think it's gonna, gonna be really cool. And also I, uh, I pre-ordered the TurboGrafx-16 Mini because again, these are so cool. So that's, you know, that's my hope is that Sony looks at this entire market going, okay, this was okay, but we can do better next time. So um, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see what happens with it. So love to know if, if you guys actually picked up finally a PlayStation Classic during uh, the last couple of weeks when they were really, really cheap and on sale, or did you pick one up day one and you've been happy with it ever since? I'd love to know down in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.